When we continue to struggle with the same thing over and over and over, it's usually because we have a belief about whatever it is we're struggling about. So if you want to master that belief, the first question you can ask yourself is, what must I believe is true about this situation or experience in order for this to be happening? When you start with that question, you start to understand exactly what's brought you to this point, what's causing you to keep this experience going, to keep having this experience over and over and over. But here's the thing, anyone who's doing inner work, once you realize that this is the tool, that this is the exercise, the practice that you can put into place to free yourself from struggle, then you know just enough that the next time you struggle, you might be asking yourself, oh, okay, I'm struggling. That must mean I have a belief. That must mean I have to do some inner work. That must mean I have to do something. And then you get yourself more in the mode of trying to figure out what the belief is and trying to create something so it makes sense to your mind instead of actually having something that needs cleared or something that needs unblocked. The mind is a tricky thing. It's so powerful. And we have the ego mind, the subconscious mind, the conscious mind, and they're all working together. Remember, you are a whole being, your spiritual being and your physical being. They work together. So when you find yourself constantly in your mind about, there must be a problem, I must have something that needs to be unblocked or cleared, or there must be something bothering me that I don't know is bothering me, then you are concentrating more on the what if because you're doubting yourself. You're doubting that there's nothing wrong. You're doubting that you're perfect. You're doubting that everything is perfect just the way it is. Sometimes when we know just enough about inner work or healing your wounded inner child, we tend to think that we have to find reasons. We have to go searching. But instead of searching, unless of course something is really bothering you and you're struggling greatly with something, start with everything is perfect. Start there. Start by reminding yourself, everything is working out for me. Everything is for my highest good. Because nothing has meaning until you give it meaning. So if you're struggling with something and your mind is trying to give it meaning like, oh, this must mean there's something wrong with me that I have to fix, instead of saying to yourself, oh, I see that I'm struggling. What is this teaching me? How am I feeling about this? And paying attention to how you're feeling because your feelings are your internal GPS. They will guide you. That is your higher self guiding you. Basically, it's saying, hey, you've come to a crossroad. Do you want to go left or do you want to go right? Do you want to pick the fear-based thought or do you want to pick the love-based thought? The choice is always yours. Life is all about choices. So when something's bothering you or you're tending to struggle with the same thing over and over and over, give yourself a break. Get out of your head, get out of your mind and into your feeling nature and pay attention to how you feel. And then whatever you're feeling, pay attention if your mind is trying to give it a description. Oh, I must be feeling this because of X, Y, Z. See, that's when now you give it a definition. So if you're giving it a negative definition, you can also give it a positive definition. Remember, you have all the power. All the power is yours. Simply know how to master your beliefs and choose the belief that works for your highest good.